In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create the halftone effect in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go. Here's a mascot design that I've been working on here. And to start, let's head over to the layers panel. So obviously the bottom layers being my background layer, which I've locked to make sure it doesn't interfere with anything. And then I've got the top layer being my character's outline and the middle layer being the character's fill. So to start, select one of the fill sections that you wish to apply the halftone effect to and copy and paste in front. Then head over to the gradients panel and give your object a black and white gradient. At this stage, it's not really necessary to ensure the gradient is exactly how you want it, um, as we're going to be able to make those amendments as we apply the halftone effect down the line. So with your gradient selected, go to effects, pixelate, then color halftone. In the halftone panel, you can see that we've got four channels as well as a max radius. For this effect to work, we need to ensure that all of the four channels are the same number. The max radius determines the size of the halftones. The smaller the number, the smaller the circles. So here I'll change my max radius to around eight, then press OK. If we zoom in here, we can see that the halftone effect has now been applied. And the effect is still customizable, so if you grab the gradient tool, you can change the direction of the halftone. And you can also change what type of gradient you want to use. So for example, we can go with the radial gradient, and if that's the type of effect you want to go for. We also have the option to change the size of the halftone as well. So if we go into the appearance panel and click color halftone, you're able to then change this number to a higher number, say 18, which will make those circles bigger. I'm going to stick with 8 just because I quite like that size, but feel free to play around and change it however you like. For this design, I'm going to stick with just a normal linear gradient. Um, but once you're happy with the halftone effect, you go to Object, then Rasterize. Here, make sure your resolution's at 300 ppi and your background's transparent, then press OK. We now want to convert that back into a vector. So in the top there, if you want to press Image Trace, if that's not visible for you, Simply go to Object, Image Trace, then Make. We now want to get rid of that white background. So if you go to that icon there next to Preset, you'll open the Image Trace options. In the Image Trace panel, just scroll down to where it says Ignore Color and check that box. When you're ready, then press Expand. Now that the halftone is a vector, we can then go in and we can change colors and we can then edit it the same way as we would with any other sort of vector within Illustrator. One thing you might have noticed if we zoom in here is that the smoothness of the halftone has kind of been lost a little bit. There's some rough edges around some of the circles. If that's the effect you like, then this is a great technique for you to use. Alternatively, I have a slight tweak to this approach, which will hopefully give you that smoother halftone effect. Simply go to Effects, Document Rush to Effects Settings. Then in the Resolution drop-down, change your 72 ppi to 150 or 300. Then press OK. I will quickly now speed through the same steps I just showed you to create that halftone effect. This time with the higher resolution settings. So as you can see, if we zoom in here, changing the resolution settings has helped to maintain that smoother halftone effect that we may want. One thing to bear in mind here though, um, is that the increased resolution can slow down your Illustrator file. And here we are with the final design. Uh, I've just gone through and applied the halftone effect across the whole character. Uh, let me know what you think. And that is how I create the halftone effect in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching guys, um, this is my first YouTube video, um, so please go a little bit easy on me. Um, give me lots of suggestions in the comments, what I need to improve on, what not. Also give me some comments on what sort of videos that you want in the future. I plan to be doing a lot more YouTube content over the next few months. Yeah, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and have a great day.